your own visualization, television visualization, at the very end, you introduce the computer. Um, and of course, in terms of information access, if, if indexing and cross-indexing were revolutionary, uh, the computer is even more so um, in extending access to information and or knowledge. Mm. Um, you imply that we might confront a revolution in our society comparable to that, which printing... I, I think infinitely greater. I think we're about to bump up against a revolution that's going to make what Gutenberg did look like in a quiet afternoon stroll. Uh, the interesting thing is, and I hope to show this later on in the series, the possibility that what the electronics revolution will do to us will be to, as it were, give us back what Gutenberg took away, not our memories, because we will need them even less, I think, but the, the, that nuclear village I talked about, which had been destroyed. I think electronics may send us back to the village, but as we live in our little electronic villages, with telecommuting possible so we don't have to go into cities to work, we will be living once more as we lived before print, in close personal contact. But because of the electronic revolution, we may well be able to, at the same time, live that intensely interactive community life in a small village from which we are, as it were, thrown out by Gutenberg, but at the same time have the data of the world available at our fingertips while we do so. Well, it's fascinating to analyze it.